Hi guys, welcome back to another Grace HQ video. Now, it's currently seven o'clock at night. I've just got home, I've taken the lorry home, so I've probably upset some neighbors, uh, but I've bought eight trailers. Uh, I've already collected two. Yeah, I've already collected two. Uh, I've been so busy. I didn't really have time to video it. Um, but I'm collecting another one tomorrow morning, so I'll uh, I'll take you on the journey. So I'm going home and have some food because I'm starving. I haven't stopped today. So I'll see you in the morning. Turn the light off. Perfect. All right, let's go. Cars can fit through there. Be all right. Normally I park it down the road where Lorry's park, but I sprain in night walking back. Sugar, I've got an air leak. Oh, for God's sake. Another job, it's never ending. Right, that's it. Well, it's now half four in the morning. It must have been raining last night. Time to go and get this trailer. Got to go and pick Nathan up. Got an air leak and it's doing my head. Where's my dimmer switch gone? There we go. Beautiful. He might be a bit tired. Depends what mood he's in. Here he is. Oh, he's in a tired mood. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, I couldn't video getting fuel because we was having an argument with the bloke that the petrol station attendant because he was just being a prize one pillock so and there was no fuel there was only fuel on the other side so I had to back my lorry on because I weren't dragging that across the catwalk so away we go so we've literally just pulled into their yard so the old light's on Tell you what, I thought my yard was bad for poles. Jesus. Ramshackle building there, it even makes one of my barns look good. Tell what, this window so it keeps steaming up. If anybody with a scan you knows what if there's a common fault, the heaters are rubbish. So, night eater it is. Right, let's see what he's hooked up to. And of course he's hooked up to that trailer that I need. Fantastic. So basically I've brought all of these trailers, which are here. Obviously I need to pick them all up. Oh God, he's in his truck, sorry. But I need that trailer, so hopefully it's woke him up. So now I need to wait for the customer to get here to obviously... <sighs> Never straightforward, is it? Well, we've picked the trailer up. Uh, I couldn't really video because we just had a massive argument with him. This video, this this start of the video ain't gone very well, has it? Ain't gone no, to plan. No, not very well. <laughs> well, he said to me this trailer I was picking up had MOT, it has had a full brake reline. Um, just checked it, it's got no MOT and it hasn't had a full brake reline, so um, obviously he's been knocked down on price. But uh, you wouldn't mind, would you? But just be honest, I'm not bothered either way, but just be honest with me at the end of the day. But right, we're just going to head back to the base now, so clear drive. After this one, mate. Right, well, we've just made it back to the yard. I'll put that on. Right, there we go. Need to go back to MOT later. So, now I'll show you the trailer. I need to sort out air leak out, it's driving me insane. So, it's what we bought, it's out on Amazon curtains as well, so that's a bonus. But yeah, that's what we've just picked up. Beautiful. Well, I thought I'd show you something a little different. It's just currently replacing the turbo. Now, on this one, uh, the customer had a donor truck, so he's he's had his mechanic, well, he calls himself a mechanic, uh, take that off the spare one. And now I'm just taking this one off. So, just got to undo the 
four bolts and then this is ready to drop off. Now, to be fair, half of this was already ready to come off. I mean, that's letting in loads of oil. It's not as bad now because we've had a rag in there, but there's, it's, it's had a fair bit of, um, I mean, like everywhere is covered in it. I mean, the pipes, where are the pipes? I mean, look. Well, that's not that, it's actually bad. But there was one pipe. Oh. Some trailer just let its air off, and like this, that. And he wanted it changed, so he's having it changed. But it's one of these jobs where you have to take so many bits off to be able to even get to the turbo. To, to get to the actual turbo itself is fine, like this bit, but to get to these four bloody bolts, you've got to take the EGR off, EGR cooler off. But to then get them off, you've got to take different pipes off. But it's joys of being a mechanic, I suppose. Got, we've got the old turbo off, which is there now. To be fair, the old one looks better than this one. But this is what we wanted. I don't know about anyone else, but these are a pain in the ass to put on. It's ridiculous, because, put this down. It needs new brake pads in it as well. But I don't know if you see, see this little dowel? It's got to go in there. And they're not the easiest things to lift there quite heavy so you've got to try and line that up put that in there and put a hole in uh, sorry, put a bolt in there and then line the gasket up as well so second hand turbos now on egr's back on egr coolers back on i've now just been told the radio needs to do it as well which is good because i haven't put the air ducting on or anything so that could stay off because it needs to be removed anyway to be able to get the little flexi pipe that's there so now the radiator's got to come off. But Dad said he's going to do that because he needs me to do something else. So that's where we're at with the turbo job. But once he's... I think once he puts the radiator back in, he wants me to put all the trunking back on. So this is not all of them delivered, but break madness today. So I've got to reline this. The, this one has gone over cam. That one over there is a full brake reline and that one there is a full brake reline as well so just got all the wheel nuts off of that one left two on that one because that's not jacked up yet same with the other side this one's for MOT this one so but we've made a start well that's this one all done. Oh. Thing is, the brakes aren't too bad. Well, as in depth wise. But it's because they've been sitting and look, it's starting to lift away from itself, these shoes. And this is a new trailer for this customer. And um, I'm trying to get him MOT, but obviously they're not passing their brake test because it's a kit is fan and it's brake test. So, new drums and shoes. This one's now done. That one's not MOT, so I'll get the sister trailer done to this next. But the wheels, oh my god, what a pain they were to get up there. They were C solid. So, we're back to loading. So, we've got to take this off because he's now changed his mind. He wants us to put an Atigo on here, tyres up there, and then a car up there. So, uh, what the plan is, they want us to cut, see where the dash is, they want us to cut there at the bottom of the window and go all the way around, turn it into a convertible basically because it's already knackered anyway, it's had a rollover so but I've now just got to drag it forward, drop the ramp down, drop down and then get this bloody thing off. But first I have got to move all the trailers out of the way because they're everywhere. So, well, that's a tight squeeze. First things first, it's never straightforward. I've got to move them two trailers, this IBC, that scissor lift, and that lorry there, because the lorry I need is behind there. This is just a nightmare. The lorry, when I parked this lorry up to advertise it, it was running, and now it's not running. I take one of the exporters and try to rob the fuse out of it, or I've looked, and I've tried to get it started, and I cannot get it started, so I've got to tow it out. I went to wind the back brakes off, but you can't get a spanner in there. Sorry, you can't get a socket in there, so I'd be there forever in a day doing it at the thingy. 
uh, with a spanner so I thought sod it I'll um, get the lorry on it so I'm just blowing some air into it now that should be enough because what I've done I've gone off of several different ports just to pump as much air into it as possible so yeah not happy probably lost all the air now that should be alright but so I've got to get this out of the way and yes it's gone from light to dark because that's how long it's taken me to do this rubbish. I've had enough of it. And Nathan's not here to help me either. And he said he'd probably be at the yard. So I'm not happy. He's in bad books. We won't be getting his wage this week. Oh, I forgot that. Sorry for me bad video in. I've just got about a thousand things in the hand. Right. Let's chuck all this stuff on the back of here. Get it out of the way because I'm sick of it quick update for you guys who are interested in the build on the stock car I've just tacked the front bumper on so obviously I've got to bend it right round I ended up cutting the crumple zones out so I've got to put the crumple zones in dad told me to do it that way to then make crumple zones fit never done crumple zones so I'm just going with that one just got to do the back bumper now all the dash Brake lines are all out, I've just got to pick them up. Dash, everything. Just, the engine's just sat in there, but obviously that's ready to lift, but we're just gonna lift that out once we're done. So yeah, we're getting there. So, we've finally got it running. So for a start, well, when I parked it up, it was absolutely fine. But then dad went to move it the other day and it wouldn't, look at that's how cold it is, look at my breath. It's now eight o'clock at night, and as you can tell, earlier on in the video, I started this when it was daylight. <laughs> so I think I left some bits on here. Yes, I did. Um, so, turns out, it was a relay and a fuse that had been replaced, but they'd replaced them with a broken one, so they just took their took the good one and put their bad ones back in it and also it's got a massive uh, run back problem with the fuel so I managed to bleed it back up and we've got it going so thank god for that so we've now got the Volvo off the step frame now got the step frame back under the ramp now I'm going to get the Mercedes on here I just got into the Mercedes and jump started it, right? And a mouse jumped at me. That mate just shit me up, that did. I wasn't expecting that.
Oh, look at that mace for measure. So, that's all loaded up. I asked the customer how he wants me to load the car, because he needs the car, because all the parts for the car are in there. And he said, oh, I'll load it like that. So, that is what I have done. It is a... They'll sort everything out. They'd like me to do the loading because they can't lift anything. So they'll sort everything else out. They'll strap it, everything. So perfect. Job done. So it looks a little bit different to when you last saw it. So I've now sold him some tyres. So it literally, it's, that sits there a lot better now, doesn't it? So and now he's just bought a tyre machine off me as well. So he wants me to try and fit the tyre machine in the engine bay. But I don't think that's going to happen. So I finally brought this up from the other end of the yard. I'm going to make a start on removing the cab. I think that's going to be the first plan of action. The rear end should be pretty easy to get off. But this is going to be the first, first one. Well, we've got the loom removed. And there, header tank's gonna stay in. Cab bolts, he's just told me to cut the pipes, even though I think that's scandalous, but gotta do what the customer says. So I think it's gonna be about time now to lift the cab up. Well, off, I believe. Well, I hope so anyway. Provided not took everything off. Cab removed. So that, that's come off actually pretty easy. Literally just taking the rear axle out. Just got to now take the front axle out and obviously cut the chassis here and there. So that's what it looks like at the minute. <coughs> so I've now got the gas axe. I'm gonna cut down here, all the way down there, nice and easy. Right, I'll put the goggles on. So, it now looks a little bit different. So obviously the cab's off. We've now cut the chassis to here, behind the box. We've got the other bit of the chassis, and then the other bit's already loaded in, which is there. Now, he's told us to remove one of the chassis. He doesn't want it. He just wanted us to remove the fifth wheel off it and a couple of air tanks. So I've done that. So I'm gonna scrap that, which is good. A bit of extra money. So I'm going to, I've got to sort it all out. I'm just putting it in there for at the minute. Uh, so I don't want it on the floor. So that is now going to go in the back corner. So let's get it loaded. Now it's for the time you've all been waiting for. I'm going to cut the cab along this line here. So wish me luck. Current update, we've got to there. We're all the way through, but I think that's a pillar. So I don't know whether that's all the way through on that, but it literally just takes a full blade. So I'm gonna have to go through so many blades and just keep them and use them when I don't need this deep stuff, if you get what I mean. But bloody hell. It, it, I said to him, just leave the cab on, but apparently it's for duty. I mean, I've never done this before. They've never ever asked me to do this before, but customer's always right, I suppose. Well, I've made it round to here. As you can see, it's gone through some bits. I need to get in now. I've left these bits, so it's all safe if you get what I mean. The cup's not going to come down or anything like that. So I'm going to leave them bits till last and I'll put the forks under here. So I'm now going to go in, look at the bird. Yeah, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to swear, but what is that? God. I'll move that out like... I don't want any mice jumping out at me. Right, I'm going in. I am in the cab. And I feel very dirty right now. I don't like it. In the moment of truth, guys, we literally have this one more post to cut. And then she's ready to, she's ready to lift. Excuse the hair. I've got my, got goggles on, PPE and all that. 
This is ridiculous. I've never done this before. I'm gonna get so much hate off the Volvo lovers. <laughs> but look at it, it's scrap. It's not, do you know what I mean? Well, one way to do it, I suppose. So, guys, she is now a convertible. So, that is now, I don't even know why they want it, if I'm honest, what they're going to salvage from it. But, yeah. It's off, though. That is the main thing. Job done. So, guys. Current up down stock car. It's coming together. I'll show you around. So I'm just currently welding. Look at that. And the reason why I've stopped is because I didn't want it to bend, so I was doing like bang, bang, bang. And then so I've just finished doing that. I'm quite impressed with that. Quite a nice. Nice beading on there. So I've done that corner. I've just most of the stuff I've literally just tacked in so then I can just go around it with a welder but to carry on doing this front corner I need that all welded up so that's done that's all tacked in new bump uh, like squash plate there cutting just redoing the suspension mount there because um, it's all knackered cut me hand as well so that's all tacked in. That's all tacked in. But where we heat it, I just need to fill that weld and then grind it back down. But tubes in. I think it's tacked in there. Perfect. We're just heating that out. Still would do a bit more work to that, but progress it's also heated that out so that's when the car landed on top of me i've ground them out because i snapped them off at uh, last meeting and i was welding it was really windy and it blew lots of um, bubbles in it if you can see so i'm gonna re-weld that up i'm knackered now it's now quarter to quarter to ten on saturday night I'll show you what i've got done so everything is now on. It's literally just tacked in. Certain bits I've had to weld um, on, but then the rest is just tacked on, all ready for welding. At least all fabrication really is done, apart from that. I wanted to do that, but dad told me he's gonna do it, so leave him to it. You know how it is. So yeah, time to go home. Also, excuse the workshop because it's just a mess because of the stock car. So once the stock car's done, it'll be nice and tidy. And this is the four link bracket that I have welded up. Look at that beauty. So that's all welded up. So yeah, progress. Let's go home.